In some ways, I do feel like we've handled the last few months with a lot of grace, poise, and reasonableness. But the tipping point was coming, and thankfully, the solution occurred just before the shit was to hit the fan in our case. So, for the last four months, we have been dealing without a kitchen, without a sink, without a floor in our dining room, or, more importantly, in the kitchen. And because of that, we've kind of been living in limbo for the last four months. But finally, it seems like the insurance money is being paid out. They thought we've been twiddling our thumbs for a bit too long now. They might get a bit terse. And we were getting terse because we were having to eat pretty badly. To be honest, it wasn't good. Most days we were eating like trash. Probably two or three days a week, we did a good job, and four or five, it was an absolute shit show. At the beginning, we did do our best to eat healthy, but what can you do? It's basically you living on salads and sandwiches at night. That's not really useful. That's not really good. So then eventually you start getting takeaways, and then you get three, four takeaways, sometimes five takeaways a week, sometimes pizza. It's not good, you know. Weight has been gained, couple pounds here and there. Not too bad, considering it has been four months, but... I'm just glad that I'm going to be able to cook some chicken, cook some eggs, just some eggs. Like, it felt like a, a military operation to try and cook some eggs. It felt like, oh, I might as well just drink them up raw with my protein shakes. That's the way I was feeling with it, because I didn't want to do the washing up of having to sit in the bathroom next to the sink and clean up in our tiny bathroom sink. Because at the end of the day, we'd have to go clean the bathroom because there would be mess everywhere because of the cleaning we were doing of our dishes that the bathroom got messy afterwards. So, it is what it is. It's the reality that we've been having to deal with. And yes, we are very fortunate that not having a kitchen for a couple months is the situation. But the smell in the kitchen was so abhorrent. Eventually, it got to, wait, there's something severely wrong. And the floor was starting to rot underneath. It was very, very ugly. A lot of spiders coming out. Nonsense is not good with the spiders, all right? It seems like I've killed hundreds of spiders over the last few months because the flooring has just been up in the kitchen and a lot of shenanigans is going on underneath the floorboards and they're coming out in horrendous numbers. Numbers that you would expect in a horror movie. That's what I think, especially when you see the size of these spiders. It's like, oh, tiny spider, you can deal with that. Medium spider, you can deal with that. But when you get to like the large boys with the big body and it's a bit red with big legs, that's not good. Now, we're not in Australia, so at least we're not dealing with those like deathy spiders. That would be absolutely horrendous. I think even then, I would just leave the house. I would say, you know what? You can have the house. I'll go sleep in my car. That's how I feel when dealing with something like that. I feel I would run away from a spider that large. Because it just seems like, what's the point in trying? It's probably going to kill you at the end of the day. But there is indeed light at the end of the tunnel. Keep a positive mindset. It's lasted us well. It's done us well so far. And in two weeks time, we're going to have a floor again. We're going to have a sink again. And I do think our mood is going to improve. Because I'll tell you, walking into that room, the kitchen, after coming back, it's... uh. It's a little demoralizing seeing no floors. It's a weird one. It's a weird one walking into the house. It just seems like something's off and something's missing. And the thing that's missing is the kitchen and, and the flooring and a sink and, and a dishwasher. So yeah, anyway, we're sorting out, we're getting it fixed. And I am most, most pleased that this is now coming to the end. The conclusion is coming. And I will close this book very, very gleefully.